Shalom Aleichem everybody, hope all is well. This video is sponsored by John, the son of Devorah. May he be blessed and may his whole family be blessed in all in their endeavors. They should be see open and reveal blessings from God Almighty himself. You also can be a sponsor of the Torah channel at the link below. Any amount is appreciated and you can email us to dedicate a video for a specific cause. You can email us for the details. The beautiful topic of conversation today, my friends, is by request of the sponsor, is going to be about the Mashiach times, the era of Mashiach and the resurrection of the dead, specifically the resurrection of the dead. But we know the resurrection of the dead will take place well into the Mashiach times. It'll be a new development within the Mashiach times. Something to think about. Beautiful idea. What will the times of Mashiach be like? First, what we just stated is one thing to recognize, that there will be multiple stages to the Mashiach times. And each stage, each the further you go into the Mashiach times, the more intense and the more pleasurable that era will be, that experience will be. But nonetheless, from the get-go, once Mashiach arrives, it will be a tremendously pleasurable experience, to say the least. But it will continuously get more pleasurable and more miraculous and more godly in a revealed way. We know everything is already godly, but it'll be more revealed how the world is godly. We'll experience godliness in a more open way. First of all, how what will what will it be like when Mashiach comes? We'll, we'll talk about the general development, the, we'll talk about the general experience of the times of Mashiach, and then we'll go into specifically the new development of the resurrection of the dead. The times of Mashiach will be how do we explain what they'll be like? First of all, we have to rec we have to recognize that while we're we're told certain aspects of the times of Mashiach, we're told about certain elements of this era. However, the exact way it's going to be unfolding, the way it's going to unfold is 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 a bit mysterious to us. In the way that we don't know exactly at what day Mashiach is going to arrive. He can come at any moment. And we don't know exactly what it will feel like at that moment or how it will look exactly. Because of course Hashem wants to surprise us. Just like a child. You know, when you plan a child a surprise party. You, that, that surprise, that surprise literally, is, uh, is what causes the, such a, such a moment, such a, such a miraculous moment, such a, a pleasurable moment, such a moment to remember. It's that, that element of surprise that is actually very pleasurable. It's very exciting. It's very, very penetrating. It penetrates your, your very being. It, it takes hold of you. It's like you're in the moment. You're completely given over. So while we do know certain elements of what's going to take place in the times of Mashiach, the exact way it's going to unfold on what day and how and how it's going to feel and how the news is going to talk about it, how the world's going to react, how intense it's going to be, is an element of surprise. There's an element of surprise to it. But what we do know is this. There are certain requirements that need to take place. To, 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 to. There's two general um, categories within the times of Mashiach. There's going to be an end to all pain on the one hand, an end to all suffering, an end to all negativity, so to speak, and an introduction of a great amount of pleasure and positivity. So within everything that's going to develop, we'll come into these two categories, so to speak. There's going to be an end to all pain, end to all illness, end to all wars, end to all jealousy, end to all death, end to all, end to all hatred, end to all sinning, so to speak. That's the end of all negativity. And then there's going to be a tremendous introduction of pleasure. There's going to be an experience of the divine. There's going to be tremendous love for each other. There's going to be wealth. There's going to be prosperity. There's going to be no more hunger. So everyone's going to have food. Everyone's going to have a mission. Everyone's going to have a purpose. These are the two categories. So, first of all, great proof that we're going to be in the Mashiach times is there's going to be no more. There's going to be no more wars. We learn about this in, in in the book of Isaiah, where it says all the nations will, will turn their swords into farming equipment. They will turn their weapons into farming equipment because there'll be no more need for war. So there's these aspects, and like we mentioned, no more pain. The main element, of course, is going to be a man who's going to be Mashiach. He's going to be the Messiah. He's going to be the king of the Jewish people in the in the, in the messianic times, in the days of Mashiach. He's going to be the Mashiach. 
So what that means is he will be appointed king and the base of Migdash will be built. The base of Migdash, the temple, the third temple, is not just a building. It's not a building that we could just decide to build. There has to be a godly revelation from above. Whether we're going to build whether we're going to build it down here or it's going to be built up above in heaven is a debate between the sages. But generally we see it as it's not a contradiction, but rather it's going to be a, a, a combination of both. We're going to do our part down here and it's going to, there's going to be elements that will come down from above that will be beyond our ability to do on our own. And there's going to be something called the Shrina, not just something, it's everything. It's the Shrina, which is means the dwelling of God, the revelation of God. There's going to be this light of God revealed in the third temple so that everyone within the temple grounds will experience miraculous revelations of God. And even from there on out into the world, the whole world will experience a revelation of God, a apprehension, a perception, a awareness of God flowing out from the base of Mingdash. Then there will also be the Mashiach himself will be teaching the deepest secrets of Torah. He will be the master, the teacher of all the people. He will teach everyone the deepest secrets of Torah to make each and every person a prophet of their own. He's going to bring out the potential of everyone else. And of course, this will all be done from Hashem through the Mashiach. The, the Mashiach is Hashem's top guy. Everything is from Hashem. We all are connected to Hashem. And Hashem chooses to make there be a Mashiach and that through this Mashiach, Hashem te will teach the Mashiach, the Torah, or beyond the level of teach, Hashem will reveal to the Mashiach what he needs to reveal to the Mashiach. The Mashiach will teach the Jewish people and the entire world, the righteous Gentiles as well, whatever they need to know to connect to the deepest point to God. It will be a tremendous era because it will be a tremendous pleasure, to say the least. Any, you can imagine the best day of your life. The best day of your life, whether it was your wedding or whether it was the birth of a child or, or a, a day where a miracle happened to you. The best day of your life. That will be just a, like the, a little drop of what's coming in the days of Mashiach. Because right now we're not even in the days of Mashiach and we've still experienced tremendous pleasure. Whether it was like something that happened to us, we've experienced great moments. But that is just a little glimpse, a little infinitieth of what's coming in the days of Mashiach, the outermost edge of the outermost edge of just a little drop of what's coming in the days of Mashiach. And that will continue on and on and on and everlasting this greater revelation of God. And everything, technology will serve as a conduit for sure to, to, to speed up this process of making people aware of God. You know, it says, the Altar Rebbe says that it will be in the newspapers when Mashiach arrives. And now we see there's like digital newspapers. This is what the Torah channel is. They'll be, God willing, it'll be spoken about on the Torah channel. Bezat Hashem today. There will then be a new development. A new development that will take place within the Messianic era, within the days of Mashiach. This will be the resurrection of death. This is something we say every single day. In our Amidah prayer, three times a day, Baruch Atah Hashem Mechayim Esim. Bless you, God, who resurrects the dead, revives the dead. This will be a new development within the days of Mashiach that will cause tremendous pleasure and tremendous divine revelation, even within the context of the days of Mashiach, where there will already be a tremendous revelation of God, a tremendous pleasure, a tremendous miraculous era. But within that context, there will be a new development, and that will be the resurrection of the dead, where all of those who have past will come back into the world and what makes this such an intense miracle is that it's literally within the nature it's not like a floating uh, lights and all these things where it's beyond nature or it's just you know wondrous things happening it's literally such a deep miracle that it penetrates the nature itself let's say someone god forbid lost a grandparent and then they see their grandparent revived back here in this world it's an even greater miracle than than you know walking through walls or flying or whatever because that is great it's miracles but it's a lower level of miracles it's a miracle where god has to alter nature but in the resurrection of the dead it will be such a deep penetrating miraculous miracle that it will literally cause the nature itself to perform the miracle and that the revival of the dead will be happen within nature a beautiful topic that relates to this is when learning about different hebrew words you see that a woman's womb is called Rechem, but it could also be called Kever. And Kever is also the word for grave. 
So we see that the word grave and the word womb in Hebrew have the same name. So there's obviously a connection between these two things. And we see that just like when a baby's in the womb, you can't see the baby yet, but you know it's coming and it will be released from the womb and into the world. So to the graves that all of our lost ones are dwelling in right now within the grave, that grave is a womb really, and it will reveal and open itself up through the power of Hashem. Hashem will cause the graves to open up and reveal the dead back into life. We have to realize that at every moment Hashem revives each and every one of us from the dead. That our bodies are beating, our hearts are beating because Hashem is causing our hearts to beat. We have no power. We don't decide to be alive. We, of course, we desire life, God willing. But at the end of the day, it is in Hashem's hands to give us life. So we have to recognize with our intellect that every moment we're being revived by God into this world. God is creating the world anew at every moment. And when we meditate upon this idea, when we deeply reflect this, on this idea, it'll cause us an inspiration within our hearts to get closer to the Almighty and to perform as well. So I hope you guys like this video to get us into the spirits of the days of Mashiach, to get us into the, the mood. Hopefully we'll see this today with Hashem's help. Please help share this message, help expand this message, help publicize the coming Mashiach. Again, this video is in honor of, sponsored by John, the son of Devorah. You also can be a sponsor of the Torah channel. May Hashem bless you all. Thank you so much.